unfortunately we are brought up in a culture where a woman is taught to sort of dim herself down then it means she's gonna be the right wife material for someone yet quite honestly the world has changed women have evolutionalized another episode of Molly Talks, your platform for all things business, fashion and lifestyle. In today's video, I actually want to do a bit of a detour from what we normally do on the channel to bring you guys a series of videos that are going to be in line with the month of love as it is February. So you guys can expect a lot of heartfelt and, you know, one-on-one -on -one kind of cozy talks <laughs> to come up in the next couple of weeks so this is basically video one if you're new to our channel thank you so very much for stopping by please do join our community by hitting that subscribe button below and if you've been with us since day one thank you so very much for coming back please do remember to hit the like button so that it can help for my youtube algorithm for this video so what inspired this video today is that recently i did a poll on my instagram account via this link here please go and follow me thank you <laughs> i did a poll on my instagram account about what people would like to see more of on the channel and I know of course people want to see business and life etc however the one thing that actually stood out for me was how many people were saying they want to see story time yo guys you guys like drama <laughs> and of course story time is usually content that is more heartfelt that is more personal and I just thought to myself you know what I'm also a human being I've been around I've lived my age will tell you that much and I just thought it's worth a chance to come into the platform to give you guys a bit of insight of my personal views as well as something that I like to call advice that I give to my friends each and every day which is probably why most of them wanted to see story time here on the channel because they just wanted to have me come onto the platform to share the kind of advice that I share with them with the rest of the world and or especially the women that are on this platform so I do hope that you guys are going to stick around for these videos it's basically going to be a four video series um, which is going to be launching every Thursday Oh, Friday. It's Friday. Yeah, I think it's Friday. <laughs> Which is going to be launching every Friday because Friday is the day that I usually post my videos. So, like I said, I hope you guys are going to be kind enough to participate in this kind of content. You can give me your comments, your reviews, your views, and all your experiences. I would love to hear that a lot. Whether you're DMing me or you're going to put it in the comment section or you're going to send me an email and or you're just going to go directly onto my Instagram account to reach out and tell me what you experience with some of the things that we're going to be talking about about on this channel are okay so in my research for this video I discovered that a lot of the videos that are actually even on YouTube alone besides the Google articles is videos that are going to tell you how you're going to spot a guy if he's not interested in you and I just thought to myself hmm I do want to relate to that kind of content but more than anything I want to be the devil's advocate because today I want to tell women why he may not be interested in you like the thing that we sometimes do as ladies that contribute to a man deciding um well you know what I don't think I really want to be here or him actually just not taking you serious I do believe that sometimes in order for us to be able to sort of get the right relationship for ourselves we do need to do a bit of introspection as women especially because unfortunately we are brought up in a culture where a woman is taught to sort of dim herself down then it means she's gonna be the right wife material for someone yet quite honestly the world has changed women have evolutionalized but somehow the same women that have so much evolution and you know are more liberal still want to behave like they are not liberal in a relationship and then somehow they want the men to show up for the relationship as liberal men it's a bit confusing right so I'm basically here to share with you guys 10 reasons why or rather some of the things that we may be doing as women that may make him not interested in you and please don't feel bad these are actually lessons that are not only lessons I've seen for my friends but stuff that I've also gone through and I've been burned a couple of times and as a result have allowed me to be able to spot the differences and or the trends that allow me to come here today and do this video so let's get right into it so the first reason that a man may decide not to be into you is because because you are too serious too quickly 
So I just feel like, you know what? A guy is going to ask you out and unless he dictates the direction of the relationship, like how serious does he want the relationship? What exactly does he want from you? Does he want you to be his girlfriend? Does he want someone he can go out on dates with every now and then? Does he want a partner that he can go to weddings with? Or does he just want to get laid and you know, he feels like this is something that he can actually do with you. But what women do is the minute a man approaches you and starts showing interest in you, you are suddenly asking him, so what is this? What are we? Do we have a three year plan? What are your plans? for me it's like mm, are you looking for marriage from this guy are you gonna be looking for marriage from every other guy <laughs> no ladies it just doesn't make sense you know like I said I honestly believe that a man because he's the one who goes out of his way to shoot his shot with you he should be the one to tell you what the direction of the relationship is and if he does not and he chooses not to you have no reason to feel like that man is your boyfriend because that man has not said he wants to be your boyfriend and until the day he does Baby girl, keep going on dates, keep going to see your friends, keep living your best life, keep giving other people options to you because there's no man that has actually stepped up to you to say, this is what I want from you. And also, men are natural hunters. So a situation where now he's hunted you for like five minutes and then suddenly you turn into the hunter, it's just like it leaves you looking very desperate and could actually be a turn off for any other guy. The second reason guys lose interest in a woman is because you just don't have your own life. <laughs> guys, like I like going out to my friends, we go out, we chill, we plan our travel things everything and everything just so that I can have my own social life. What this does is to allow the person that's coming into your life to see that, oh, this person actually has a life outside of me. This person is actually a stable person. It's a person who actually has their life looking like it's well put together. This can come across as something that is very intimidating for guys, but quite honestly, if you're going to meet a guy and he's intimidated by the fact that you look like you have your life together, then that's not the guy that you want to be dating. Also, what I found is that women will then start changing their social routine to try and fit their partner. Now you're sitting more in the house because you're hoping he's going to call. Uh, if he calls, then he'll find you in the house, then you can be available for him. No, honey, that's not what is supposed to happen. Unless the man decides, hey, I'd like to take you out on Friday, your Friday is free and you must make plans with your friends if that's something that you like to do. And I'm not even saying go clubbing or go drinking, just be in the house. Have a plan with your friend to come sleep over, have a plan for Saturday morning hiking, just so that if this man slacks and shows up on Friday evening and says, hey, what are you doing? Can I see you? You're like, oh no, sorry, I have to sleep early because tomorrow I'm hiking with my friends. That just says to the guy, you're not sitting there in the house waiting for him to call you as if now you are some picture. Also, most often guys are attracted to women because of who they are. Then suddenly when you're trying to be in a relationship with him, you start limiting who you are as a person or rather reducing the things that make you you. It will turn the guy off. And this is something that women do subconsciously because they think, you know what, if I present myself as a better or a quieter person or a stay at home homebody, then it will make me seem like I'm a more responsible person. Honey, it won't. He's gonna not come home. He's gonna not make plans with you. He's going to find women at the clubs that are out and about living their best lives because they actually have a social life. And then you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, men are dogs, but you've actually changed on him. So why should he stay? So my next point is very controversial. So you guys need to bear with me. The third reason why a guy would lose interest in you is because you love him too much too soon. So I often met guys and their first thing that they're gonna do in a space of week or whatever, they're like, I love you. You know what I do? I say I love you back because I feel like this is a joke. How are you going to love me without knowing me? On top of that, I just feel like it's impossible for you to suddenly love someone so much if they've not even shown you what it is about them to love. And the reason why I said this point is controversial is because if you're like me and you grew up in a Christian home, it means you kind of have an idea of how the Bible goes. The Bible literally says a man loves his wife and his wife submits, which basically means the reason why a woman would submit to a man is because the man has shown up in the woman's life consistently to show her that he loves her. And so when you go and suddenly love a guy without him doing anything to show you that he loves you, what exactly are you trying to achieve because it means now you are going against the normal procession of what the Bible said we should do? Crickets. I know. Because <laughs> you're not supposed to do that. 
And this speaks to the first point that I made, whereby you become too serious with the man before he even shows you what kind of intention he has for you. That involves you loving him too much. All of a sudden you're flooding his calls, you're sending him messages all the time, you are inviting him to cook for him. This man has not even said that, you know what, I feel like I'd like you to be my girlfriend and this is my intention, I'd like us to date and see where this thing is going. You've not even had that opportunity. He just spoke to you called a couple of times because he was excited at getting your number and then suddenly boom every day you are there on his timeline liking every picture suggesting all the things that have to do with his hobbies that you guys can do together it's like are you crazy like what were you doing before this man showed up so ladies that's another thing that we must look into just to make sure that we keep our guys interested the fourth reason a man is going to lose interest in you as a woman is because he sees you change yourself to accommodate him and again this speaks to the points that we've actually spoken about where once you get into a relationship as a woman somehow you see the need to then start maneuvering yourself to try and fit into this box if you were someone who wears shorts suddenly you don't wear shorts because you feel like oh my goodness i'm showing off some thigh girl you're not married and even if you were married ask me i am even if you were married it doesn't make sense to marry someone who feels like you can't wear your shortest shorts when you're with them that's the exact time when you're supposed to enjoy your shortest shorts because your bodyguard hashtag your protector hashtag your partner is there on top of that you are sharing your body with him so if he can't appreciate your body who else is supposed to appreciate it most likely this guy met you at a club somewhere and you were twerking your ass off and then suddenly when he's dating you you're like no i don't wear shorts anymore um now you don't want to ma wear makeup because you feel like ah the lipstick is a bit too red it's a bit too much baby girl that man is gonna leave you because that man fell in love with the person that he met and saw and was attracted to who suddenly you again have decided to take away from him the fifth point why a man is not going to be interested in you is because you lower your standards to accommodate him <laughs> guys so this is like the most typical thing that i've seen me and my friends do in the past and i thank god that we are grown women and we're way past that point so these are lessons that i can come back and share with you guys so as a man is looking at your life you know every other day he sees you before he starts talking to you he can see that you're a woman with standards you've got expectations just by the way that you carry yourself and by the way that you treat yourself and the things that you treat yourself to in your life the man walks up to you starts chatting you up you know and at the back of his mind, a lot of men know when they're approaching a woman who's of a high standard that they don't fit into a standard. But then he starts getting comfortable because you think, if I can just lower my standards a bit for him, it will make him stay. Let me tell you what the tricky part about this is. The minute you capture the man into the relationship, again, you as the woman want him to step up and start doing the things that are in line with the kind of man that you want, who is in line with the kind of standards that you have. Now the confusion becomes, how is that man supposed to live up to standards that you lowered? You lower the standard so that he can come into a relationship with you by making yourself seem like you don't have very high standards. But at the same time, because you inherently have high standards, now suddenly in the relationship, you want him to pull up his socks to meet those standards. Like, can you see the confusion? It just does not work. And somehow, guys want to use women to improve themselves so when he approaches a woman who's of a high standard a part of him is hoping i can live up to the standard by upgrading myself but the minute you lower your standard because you want to accommodate him he loses interest because it's like okay now this woman is typically like me she's now coming down to my level so what's the use of being in this relationship because i clearly will not be able to upgrade myself with this person who can't even have a backbone to stick to their own standards so that's another thing that can make a guy feel like mm, you know what well this seemed like it was nice at first but now you're just acting like my dormant and I'm no longer interested in you. The sixth reason is actually something that I'm very passionate about and it's part of the reason why I decided to do this kind of content that I actually do on the channel on an every other day basis because I just want to empower people and or especially women to be able to do other things in their life or to be able to be more encouraged and more empowered and more ambitious because sometimes I feel like the reason a guy decides to stop being interested in you is because as a woman you're not ambitious enough and I know this can sound a bit harsh but that's just the reality of life if you meet a man on the street you can see him okay he drives a BM or he drives a Mercedes-Benz he shows up in suits and whatever this is probably a guy who's in corporate a guy who probably has aspirations for his own career and his dreams and then he decides oh you look pretty you look like you're a person who's also got goals and direction and vision let's come together so that we can build something 
suddenly because now you are with him you start feeling a bit more comfortable whether because maybe he earns more than you and or you feel shy that if you are too ambitious for him then he's going to leave you but what you don't realize is that it just ends up making you look like someone who has decided to stop being ambitious with your life and therefore if the person that you saw on the street the man that you saw on the street being ambitious comes into your life because he thought you guys could do a merger instead of an acquisition then you start suddenly behaving like an small company that is ready to be acquired that man is going to lose interest baby girl and i'm one of the most ambitious people that i've ever met even my friends say this about me and if as a man you feel like i'm intimidating for you trust me i really want you to open the door and leave because i know the kinds of dreams and visions i have for my life i know the kind of aspirations i have and the kind of probably lifestyle i would like to create even for my children which are some of the things that i didn't have growing up so if as a man you're gonna come here and feel like this woman is too ambitious it means you're not understanding me if you're not understanding me then please by all means give me peace and leave here's the door right here behind me <laughs> so ladies don't reduce your ambition because you're trying to accommodate your guy sometimes you find a guy is attracted to you because of that ambition but because you're now feeling shy that you're gonna outshine him you start dimming your light to accommodate him yay this is not the time ladies a lot of women have fought hard for us to be in the positions that we are in for us to be able to be as vocal as we are for us to be able to have some of the rights and the privileges that we have as women so don't you think that would be taken for granted if you suddenly decided to dim those kind of rights just so that you can keep a man the seventh reason a man might lose interest in you is that he can see that now because that you're with him you have let yourself go this basically means if you are a weak queen like me you've decided no now you don't want to wear wigs and there's nothing wrong with you having your natural hair and or you not wearing makeup what is wrong is you deciding not to do it because you're trying to look like a better version of a woman so that he can stay around there's men that really like women that look like Barbie dolls half the time like seriously that's why you're gonna find a lot of men in the clubs quite honestly cheating on their women because you're sitting at home you bought at like 4 p.m. in the evening and you don't do your nails anymore you don't draw your brows you don't wear your fake lashes you don't even attempt wearing a wig anymore because you feel like ah you know what it's okay I'll do it when we go out or I'll do it when yeah sissy there's no time to do it when especially if you're with a man who goes out there's a lot of beef out there in the form of other women that men is gonna see so if you decide because now that you're with him you're just gonna let yourself go hey you're playing a very dangerous game <laughs> i mean i have friends who have had kids and the one conversation that i usually have with them especially those that have husbands is guys you need to try starting get back to your normal weight you know before the baby and i'm not saying wake up in the morning and be a kim kardashian and all sculptured but i can't imagine this man dating and marrying you at size 32 and only for you to gain weight all the way to size 38 and then now he's like oh my goodness because if you were attracted to a size 38 don't you think he would have married a size 38 person clearly he was attracted to somebody who's a bit more tinier you know and i know that looks are vain but that's what looks are that's what we do every day as women we do the skincare products we go to gym we do our nails you know we do all these things because we're concerned about our appearance so what makes you think that once you are with a man either in a relationship or in a marriage now you suddenly have the right to just sit there and do absolutely nothing to curve your mkaba yay we all don't like going to gym but we do because we want to look a certain way and try to remain attractive it is very important ladies so please don't let yourself go just because now you're in a relationship and you're comfortable you and your man loves you he is also needing to be sexually attracted to you and quite honestly your looks have a lot to do with that kind of thing honey the eighth reason why a man could possibly lose interest in you is because you're actually dating his potential and not him so this basically means you're gonna meet a guy and this has happened to me before he looks good on paper <laughs> hey guys like the entire package looks very good he dresses well he seems like he's got good manners he's got a career going for him drives a very nice car possibly has a nice apartment etc and then in my mind what I would do is then start creating looks 
about him and me versus each other in a relationship what it would look like the kind of things that we can achieve because i've always been someone who feels like i want to build an empire with my partner so i'd start picturing you know we can do this together especially because at the back of my mind i know the kind of career path that he's in so i would link it with my career path and figure you know what if he also comes to the party we're going to be like this big power couple goals hashtag this hashtag that only for me to discover that the potential or the guy that I am envisioning in my mind does not exist. The guy just has a qualification, was lucky enough to get a good job, maybe looks good when he's dressed and leaving the house. However, the core of himself, there's nothing there. There's nothing there that says he wants a real relationship and or a relationship that involves building together. He just wants to get drunk, get laid by a couple of women, every other weekend and not even really know where the rest of his life is going and the problem with that when he meets a woman like me and or like you who has already seen his potential we are going to think if i just keep mechanicing him you know switching off the screw turning on this plug then he'll ideally then start seeing this vision that i have honey he won't <laughs> <laughs> he won't it will be an absolute waste of your time especially if you are going to sit down with him and have the conversation and then you need to now monitor is there any change in behavior for example there's no way you're going to build a life and an empire with the man who every weekend goes and spends four or five thousand rand on drinks with his friends it's just not going to happen even if he's getting paid sixty thousand rands per month net it does not make sense for him to take 20, 25, maybe even possibly 30,000 of that net to go drinking, to go to Konka, to go to anywhere else that people go to go in club just because he wants to look like he's a baller in front of his friends. You're not going to build with that person. So if he's a person who's not behaving as per the potential that you have in your mind about him, it basically means you're not dating that guy. You're dating his potential. And where does that potential reside? in here which basically means you're dating yourself but a male version of yourself because that's the version that you've created in your own mind so be very careful about that ladies because sometimes it's the reason why a man can feel like you are just a bit too much it's because quite honestly he's not built for you he's not built for the kind of person that you're seeing in him because the person that is sitting in him that you are seeing has not started sprouting and honey if his mother could not make that man sprout out of him who the heck are you to try to do it the ninth reason why a man may not be interested in you is because he actually knows that he's not good enough for you but he stays around because you're convenient and by being convenient I'm not saying that you're a pushover or you're mad or whatever it just means that you have shown him that you're willing to accommodate his shortfalls every other time that he has a shortfall which means he's not gonna stop having shortfalls because at the back of his mind again he knows that you're too good for him but because you have decided to lower yourself to dim your light to accommodate him he will stay because of course he wants a woman who looks good who has a career who speaks well when she's in front of people who's ambitious who can cook for him and of course where he can actually get laid you just end up being a convenient stop shop for him where he always comes back to know when he wants to rest and or to get validated especially again if it's linked to the point that i just made where you keep trying to encourage him because at the back of your mind you can see the kind of potential that he is he will want to come back not for you but for his own self validation on an every other day basis it's basically like you end up being the person who pumps his self-esteem all the time and then when that cup of his is full he goes out into the world to live his best life with anyone and every other person except you but he will come back to you because you're conveniently waiting for him instead of cutting him off honey you need to cut 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 it the last reason why a man is never gonna step up and or he's just gonna keep showing you that he's not really into you because he really isn't is because you have allowed yourself to have a consistent physical relationship with him instead of an actual one there's a lot of aspects to being in a relationship with someone besides just the physical you guys need to spend time together you need to sit down and discuss your goals if maybe you have common goals to see if the visions that you either individually have for yourselves merge so that they can make a bigger picture that you guys can work towards together there's the finances you know there's just so many aspects to a relationship other than just coming in wearing bang thank you mr officer and then go 
But if a man can see that you are just okay with him not taking out on dates, not remembering your birthday, not showing up for any other activity except for him when he needs to get laid, then that man is going to keep coming on to you, honey. But he's just not going to be a relationship person. He's not going to give you a single dose or a single drop of any form of thing that you want in a man in the form of a relationship. But he will definitely give you his body. And quite honestly, chances are you're not the only person he's giving his body to because trust me, a man who wants a relationship shows up for a relationship and if that man is not showing up for the other aspects of being in a relationship and only shows up for the physical then it's time for you to have a conversation with him to ask him hey dude do you just want to be physical with me or not and if that's the case and you also feel like that's something you're also up to great no problem but what it will save you from is the time and energy and effort that you put into investing into the relationship with somebody who's not even there so i hope that you've made it to the end of this video and if you have please do remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already joined our community and if you're part of the community please do remember to hit a like button and also to leave your comments in the comment section below so that i can know which part of the video spoke to you the most and or to share your story so that other women out there who may be going through some of the things that you and I have can actually learn a thing or two from our experiences. Other than that, I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video where I'm going to be talking about the kind of things that you need to consider before you actually get married. So that is definitely going to be a fun one. Thank you so much for staying by and I'm going to see you in the next video. Cheers.